Hi everyone. Today is Saturday, August 10th, and today is a special day. Today is my nephew's sixth birthday, and he is going to be a first grader on Monday. It's his first day back at school on Monday, and he's excited, and I can't believe he's six years old already. He's my oldest nephew and my first nephew, so happy birthday to him. I am filming today in a separate location of my apartment, mainly because um, my husband is watching soccer, and I'm not a soccer fan at all, but the team that he likes, which is FC Barcelona, is actually playing on TV, and it's really rare when they play because they're a European team, so they're actually playing here in the States, I believe they're playing out of Florida as well, but... Um, because they're actually playing here, they're showing the game on TV, um, he's watching that on the big screen in the living room. So, um, yeah, let's get started on today's video. I just want to give you guys an update of how the week has been and everything like that. So, uh, first things first, I did get a new phone, so I'm hoping that the quality of the videos are noticeable. I ended up getting um, an iPhone. I was an Android user for the longest time, um, since I can remember. But my husband wanted an iPhone, so we looked around, shopped around, found a company that uh, had a special on iPhones, and we took the plunge, and now we're iPhone users. <laughs> um, I've been a fan of Apple for a long time. I'm a graphic designer by trade, so I do use the Apple products um, for my career. And I've owned iPods and stuff like that. So uh, I'm used to their platform and how their systems work and everything like that. So it was an easy transition for me. But anyway, uh, besides that, let's get started. So this is actually something I wanted to talk about. Um, this book I actually purchased at a thrift store. And it's the Jane Austen Marriage Man Manual. Um, it's by Kim Lizzo. And this book um, reads really fast. I'm already on chapter, let's see, chapter 15. So the chapter's only about like five to six pages long, um, double-sided. So this book, uh, like I said, I got it at the thrift store. And the only thing that drew me to it was the fact that um, the Jane Austen situation. I am a Jane Austen fan. I read Pride and Prejudice, which is one of her famous ones. Um, and this book is... Basically, if I can, I'll bring this in so you guys can see. Let's see if it focuses. I might have to tap it. There we go. So here's a little description of the, of the book. Um, so Kate is, I'll just read it to you guys. She's happy with her life. She has supportive friends, a glamorous magazine career, and a love for all things Jane Austen. But when she loses her job and a financial disaster forces a sale of the family home, Kate finds herself facing a crisis that would test even the most Stout worth of Austin heroines. Um, so basically, the premise of the story is that she has, um, she's 39 at the time that the story starts, and she is a contract worker for a magazine company, a beauty magazine. Um, and she basically takes over for um, the women who go on maternity leave. Well, she's so sure she's going to get the job. Uh, as a full-time employee instead of a contracted one, but during the um, 2007-2008 financial depression that the U.S. had, she loses her job, so she continues with contracted work. But the story that she ends up getting is how a 40-single-year-old woman can still get married um, during that time. So she takes Jane Austen's lifestyle, uh, her storylines that she's used in different different books of how a female female lead either gets um prepared to get married at a young age and things like that so she puts jane austen's mythologies basically to the test as a four as a 39 turning four year old woman single no kids nothing like that um she does get some finance she has financial hardships she has personal hardships so she's trying to move through them to write this article of how to find a rich husband um, at her age. So, so far, so good. Um, really enjoying the book. It's really 
uh, realistic, I would say, even though it is a fiction. Um, a lot of the situations here seem like you can put yourself in that situation and you can be this person. So, so far so good. I will give you guys a final, um, final review of the book once I'm done. But yeah, just wanted to let you guys know about that. And I am on the Goodreads app. Um, so this is a book that's going to go on there as well. So putting that aside, I did want to show you guys um, a find that I found. So this is a pencil pouch. It says be wise and it's a zip top. And I found it at the Dollar Tree store. And the reason why I like it is because I tend to use my uh, crochet bags when I'm driving in the car or my husband's driving and we're going around town doing errands, whatever the case may be. And I don't really like throwing my hooks inside the project bag because then they get tangled in the project or they poke through the project, they poke through the yarn and then all that mess. So instead, do I have two of the same? I pro Yes, I do. So as you can see, I have multiples from here. But what I liked about it was that I can just throw these in here, what I need, and then just zip it up. So for a dollar, it's not bad. I can just take it out, take out whichever hook I need, zip it back up, and then that's it. So I'm really enjoying um, this bag. It's like a fake leather bag. Um, it's a cream blush color. It just says be wise. They did have one that had, I think, like a... A little mousse or something like on it. It said be brave and it was green like this color green right here or the green that's on his um on his wings but I'm like nah I like this one so great find so if you like to travel with your hooks this could be something that you guys use and it's very pliable it's like that so it won't take up room it's not bulky it's not like those plastic ones where it stays in a hard case this is so thin and pliable that you can stuff so many skeins of yarn in your bag and not have to worry about this taking so much space um okay besides that uh today we actually went to the um sorry i just blinked out we went to the uh flea market and we went to just look around take a walk enjoy some of the weather outside which is wonderful today it's overcast with lots of cool wind and i love this weather uh, but doing there, I was passionate toys through the toy section, which I never really ever do, but this time I did. And I found these little toys. I don't know what they belong to, probably a game or some sort, but look at this Captain Hook. Isn't he cute? So I got Captain Hook. I got Woody. The witch from Snow White. She's actually quite scary looking. To be honest, like, <laughs> her eyes tends to follow you. And the little, the thing that caught me eye was this little Gus Gus. Look at him. He is wearing the outfit uh, at the end of the movie where Cinderella gets married and he's eating the grain of rice that they're supposed to be throwing out. But look at how adorable he looks. This little guy is what caught my eye. And that's how I got the rest of these. So um, here they are. They're just little toys. I don't know if they belong to a game or anything like that. But uh, it was a dollar for all of them. So I'm not going to complain. So now to the actual thing that I've been working on, which is crochet. Um, I've been working through my stash. And I want to show you guys what I'm working on. And these will be going up on my Etsy shop uh, soon in a couple of weeks. But these are jogger beanies so this is an adult female one and it has uh, an opening right here so you can put your bun or your ponytail whatever you want to put through that and it's going to keep you warm so that's an adult one and this is another adult in gray just fluff it up a bit in gray and then I have another one in a darker pink more like a fuchsia color so those are the adult ones. And then the child version, I have a little pink and gray one. Isn't that adorable? So you could do like a mommy and me type of thing. And I am now working on a blue one. Um, I personally don't really like the color pink, but I know a lot of people do. So I really like the blue um, because I do notice that a lot of like workout gear or stuff like that um, has a lot of... 
uh, bright colors and a lot of those colors are like neons and things like that so I really took into consideration that so we're gonna actually just uh, work through this today as I talk so um, this week has been an interesting week so far actually I'm gonna move you guys just a little bit over um, let's see okay uh, it's been an interesting week so far. It's been my full first month at work, and that was on August 8th, which was exciting. I am really happy where I'm at right now. I'm enjoying the work that I'm doing, the projects that I get to be a part of, the team in entirety. Um, they're very helpful, so um, I'm very comfortable there right now. Even though I've only been there for a month, um, I'm really happy. The other thing is... Um, at, at my current job, they're doing this thing called the Positive Path Challenge. And what it does is, um, basically, as a, as a department, they want us to work on being healthy. And, of course, I work for a uh, health club, which is a gym, basically. And in the process, the one of the things that they want us to do is... Um, the challenge is to lose as much body fat and gain as much muscle. So what I'm really enjoying is that us as a team already, sorry, I keep moving you guys. I'm just trying to get this right. Um, us as a team, we've already done, we're actually in the lead. And since I have started with the company and I have only been there for a month, I have lost already three pounds which I am excited. And that means I am closer and closer to my goal weight. Um, the challenge is 90 days. And in that process, I've lost body fat and I've gained muscle, which is awesome. Um, the only thing that I've done to do this is I do some exercise. I try my best to go at least three times a week. Um, I have no excuse to not go to the gym because there's a gym right in the lobby of our department. And uh, every Tuesday, we go out to our other headquarter uh, office where it's in the physical gym itself. So I have no excuse not to participate um, in any of those activities. And I've also cut down a lot of my refined sugars. I am a sugar addict. Um, not a sweet person, not a only a soda drinker, I am legitimately addicted to sugar. Um, I was that person that if I saw a sugar cube, the one that she put in, in teas, a plain sugar cube, I would eat a sugar cube. So when I say I'm, I was addicted to sugar, I was addicted to sugar. So I've cut a lot of that out. So I think that's helping me lose the body fat since I haven't had sugar um, at all in the past three weeks. I still have natural sugar, such as fruits. Um, I don't really eat honey that much mainly because I don't have recipes or anything to use honey for. So I don't use it. Or I mean, I don't eat it, but I do do fruit. And um, yeah, so I think that's what's helping me. So I'm excited about that. Um, the other thing that I'm excited about is that... Um, the weather's going to start getting cooler soon. And so if the weather gets cooler soon, that means it's going to be wonderful. I love when the weather changes to its coolness. I feel everyone gets in a better mood. They're not as cranky. Um, I just feel it's like better overall. So excited for that. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I am working through my yarn stash. So far, I have finished uh, do, 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 one, two, three balls, uh, three skeins of yarn already. Um, so the plan is to do um, yarn busting projects so I can get through what I have in my yarn bucket that I have in the living room. And so far, it's, it's halfway done, which I'm excited about. And... Um, once those are done, I can start on the yarn that I really am enjoying. I've noticed during my uh, yarn journey, or crochet and knitting adventures, whatever you want to call them, I have come to like a specific weight of yarn 
and I've also come to like specific colors. Um, personally, personal for preference of mine, I like neutrals and warms. I like jewel tones. I really don't like brights. Uh, pastels are okay, but if I can be honest, I really like the more uh, neutral and warm colors. My ideal color palette is a jewel tone green and purple. I look um, with black accents and grays. Those, that's my ideal color palette. Um, from experience, most of my clothes is black. It is dark. Um, I just like it. And if I do want to wear something that's bright, I usually just go for straight white. Um, I'm not really a fan of bright, bright colors on me. I don't think they look good. But uh, that's how I'm working through these yarns, um, especially the bright ones, because I know there's people out there that love the bright colors, and that suits them better than it suits me. So working through my stash with those colors so that I can curate um, my shop once it opens later on with the colors that I enjoy. Um, so that's that's what I'm working through. I actually need to measure this to make sure it's within the same length as the other one. So I know this isn't the right way of measuring something, but we're going to... Oh, perfect. We're going to go there. So what I'm actually going to do is... Where are my scissors? We'll cut... Mm, how far should we cut, you guys? Let's see. I'll cut about here. So I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys these already. These are my favorite unicorn scissors. Got them at Hobby Lobby. In case anyone is wondering. And then we're going to go with the gray down here. So you guys will see how I um, join yarn. So actually, let's, let's do this right here. So I usually do um, start with the gray. So I just pull over yarn. And then make a knot. And I don't know what method this is called. So there's a knot right there. Pull this one. Same thing on this side. Twist it over. Pull through. Make a knot. And then look at, watch this. Pull them together. And ta-da! And it doesn't undo itself. So that's going to be perfect. So now I'm going to switch to actually a smaller size hook and put this in here. And then here I'm just going to continue crocheting. And I'm just crocheting in the round for right now, so I'm not too worried about anything. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. So here's where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm actually going to lay this here. Pull through. And this is how I do this, so that I don't have to weave in color ends. And so I just yarn, I just yarn over it. I crochet over it so that I don't have to uh, weave anything, especially when I do a color change. I do snip off whatever is exposed, um, but for right now, this is how I do it. And then, of course, when I'm done with the color, um, when I finish off, I do have to um, weave in the edge, which is fine. Or weave in the last thread, so that's fine. But... <laughs> Yeah, I am so excited for this. Um, this is really this project is really simple. It's something that I'm enjoying. Um, I've been working on debusting my yarn stash since last week, I believe, when I showed that last video. Um, when I was working on the first beanie, which was actually the solid pink one, and so now I am. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five beanies deep, which is pretty good considering that um, I don't work on this every day I, since I do have a normal eight-hour job. Um, sometimes 
I do take a project with me and work on it. Actually, I have one beanie that I have in my work backpack that I take with me to work. It's a dark navy blue. Um, and I work on it if I get there a little bit earlier before my shift starts. I'll do a little bit. Um, and then I do some on either my 10 or lunch. If most likely I don't, I always do it either before my shift starts. And then um, on Tuesdays when we go to our other office and I'm not driving that day I'm just a passenger um when we commute because we commute as a group um I'll work on it then going and coming back it's about an hour drive so I get like two hours that on Tuesday every other Tuesday basically um so I am excited that this projects are really helping me uh de-stash a lot of my yarn and make something that's nice and wearable not just uh, a blanket or a scarf or a pot holder like or a shawl it's something different um that I get to do so I am excited oh these blue and gray look really cute together this might be good even for um the guys that have man buns that'd be cute uh, anyway sorry just talking aloud here <laughs> so um yeah so I'm really excited to be using up most of my um yarn so, um, once this is done, then I will probably finish the one that I took to work and then start on a whole new color. I have red and I think I have one more, no, I have red and I think one more blue to finish that I can use. And then I would be done with, um, that five. So I had a, a tube that had five skeins of yarn. So once I finished those colors, then that one whole tube would be done with the yarn. And I would be the stashing five skeins, which is exciting. And um, considering I haven't really done much this year, um, five skeins to go by is really quickly, uh, or this quickly is amazing to me and I'm excited for it. Uh, the new thing this year that I'm trying to do is uh, be more I'm confident in what I do and and this is helping build up my confidence and building up my talent and I'm excited for it so I'm actually gonna leave you guys here because I am hitting the 22 mark already thank you guys for spending time with me today I really do appreciate it I hope you guys had a great week and had a great uh weekend so far oh and the other reason why i'm filming early today is because football season is here today uh the raiders are playing the rams at five o'clock and i will be definitely watching that game i am a raider fan so i will not be crocheting during that game even though it is preseason. i don't mind i love football and then at six o'clock is my husband's team the cowboys versus the niners so we'll be watching the cowboys play at six um, so we'll be tag teaming the channels, um, during the game and, or oh, both games. And hopefully we'll be watching more football on Sunday. So I'll leave you guys here. Thank you guys for everything you have, um, been spending time with me today and for being here and commenting, liking, subscribing, and I really enjoy the support. I hope you guys have a great one and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.